hi there, how the hell are you doing guys? It's a new day and it's back to grind now that I'm back in, I'm back to grind, I sound northern, back to the grind now that I'm back in England. I've got to build some scrims today. Just had some good news from Amazon. Turns out my GoPro, I've used it what, a couple of times since I got it at Christmas? And the battery has just been dire, like, I've used it a couple of times for five minutes at a go, and just, next time I pick it up, it's completely flat. And uh, I spoke to the guys under Casey's office, you know, there's a camera shop under a studio, and uh, they were like, well, it could be a thing called vampire drainage, um, which apparently is if you leave a battery in a thing for a while, don't use it, it drains itself, um, which is fine, but... I mean, this is completely dead. Um, I mentioned it to Rob, who has a GoPro, who's had a GoPro for a few years, and he's like, no, that's never happened to me. So, sounds a bit dodged. So, called Amazon, and they were like, yeah, fine, we'll send you a new one tomorrow, chuck us the old one back. All good. So that's a relief. I thought, wow, this is going to be a nightmare, but no. Thank you, Amazon. Your customer service, as always, is spot on. I've got a firm belief in life. It was something that uh, the guitar tech for a band called McFly told me. And that was a little motto. I'm sure it's not his. I'm sure I've heard it before. But um, he told me to work clever and not hard. And what he meant by that was, you know, why go around doing things harder than they need to be if there's an easier way of doing it, which is less effort. And uh, ever since he told me that, I've been a firm, firm believer in it. Which is why when I build these scrims, for example, instead of cutting a pole at a time, I'll put two pieces of pole in and cut two at the same time, halves my time doing the thing. And, I mean, I didn't always do it like that. I've only recently started doing it like that, but it kind of, I've kind of adapted it to everything I do in life. If there's an easy way of doing it, I will do it. I want to know from you guys, life hacks. Tell me any life hacks that you guys know or use, because I love life hacks. Like, whenever I see a BuzzFeed article on life hacks, I instantly read it, but um, there are surely going to be some that I haven't heard, so please comment below. Life hacks. What do you do that's a bit clever and makes work a little less hard? Stop everything, we've had a problem. I've got the uh, banners out from my print team, and there's a problem. You can see where they've heat welded the mesh together, they've burnt it burnt it. I'm not about to send out some burnt goods because that doesn't reflect well on me or my company. So I'm now having to wait to find out if they're going to replace those for me. The problem is the band who need these are in a rush and they need them by next week which means I'm going to have to basically find out A if they're going to replace these which they pr pretty much will but I then need to tell my customer well they've got a couple of burns in them I will send you them and then send you the replacements when they come. At least you have them for the date you have them they're just not perfect which sucks. Why can't people get things right the first time? Oh, right. I need to go chill upstairs and wait and find out if they're going to replace them. We'll see. You know, when I get things wrong, it's just something I have to deal with, and you know, it's my mistake. I'll deal with it and make amends. But it annoys you when other people who are doing a job for you get things wrong, because you know, especially. I mean, did you not look at it before you sent it out? Quality control. That's what's needed. Quality control. Bub, they burnt the scrims. <laughs> What? They melted them when they were heat welding them. Oh. Okay, I've been in touch and now I've heard. Uh, they've made an executive decision because my manager isn't there, but they've made an executive decision they're going to send replacements. So now I'm going to build these scrims for my customer, send them out, and then send... It's a lot of birds. And then send out the replacement ones when I get them next week. The problem is I'm not here till the end of next week because I'm in Norwich. So... I thought I'd plan this all... Go away, bird. I thought I'd plan this all so well while I was in America, you know. I'll get home, I'll have the supplies here, the scrims will come, I'll make them. But no, one person messing up, you know, ruins the whole thing. So, that kind of sucks. Anyway, now I need to build the scrims. <laughs> job done which is a nice relief I always love it when I finish scrims it's all packaged up ready to be sent um, I need to go do the label for that 
Uh, but now at least I can leave the freezing cold vlogging space. I don't know why I call this a vlogging space anymore because I don't vlog in it. But uh, yeah, it's where I used to vlog um, for any old time subscribers that I've got there from day one. I used to do all my vlogging right there. Um, my god, it's cold. I'm going to go back in the house and then get those ready to go. They're all packaged up. I'm so done in here. Warmth. Bob, I'm done. Yeah. I'm not. Oh. It's official guys, the print store is launched. We're ready to go. So, if you like our photography uh, and maybe want to purchase a uh, print, then uh, make sure you head over. What are you oh, all 75 of them. We've ones. got 75 up there, so yeah, there's a lot to pick from. They're all New York as well, we need to add some other... Oh, oh no, there are some Norwich ones up there as well. Cool. We're going to be adding to it as well, so make sure you follow us. It's uh, northandbeard.co.uk. I'll have a link down in the description. Um, and like I say, they're taken by both of us. I think what we're going to do is, if you buy a print... You don't know who's, who's taken them. So if you buy a print that the Burb shot, she will sign it on the back. If you buy a print that I shot, I'll sign it on the back. So, you know, when you get the photo, you'll know who shot it. But you won't know until you buy it. So it's kind of like a... I don't know, it's a surprise. Print roulette. Print roulette. I like that. But yeah, um, make sure you follow us on Instagram. The name is North and Beard. And uh, the link will be in the description to our shop. Go show us some love. Share it to all your friends. And uh, basically all the money we make from that is going to help pay the rent when we move in together in a few months' time. So all your support will be muchly appreciated. Or it'll just fund a massive adventure and stuff. Or it'll fund a massive adventure for the YouTube channel. It won't, but <laughs> it might. Although moving in is a massive adventure and you guys are going to be coming with us on that. So you will be helping us with that. So yes, thank you in advance for anyone who does make a purchase. Right, I'm going to go guys. It's been... Uh, Frustrating day, but a good day, you know, getting getting a new GoPro, which is always a plus. Um, the scrims thing was a bit of a kick in the teeth, but the print store is now alive. So it's good and bad, good and bad, mainly good, so I'm going to stick with good. I always put a positive spin on things. Um, I hope you've had a good day, and I will see you tomorrow. As always, guys, do what you love, and do it for you. See ya! Awesome.